Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling Design Show. I'm Keith Maley and I'm Morgan. And we're glad to be with you this Saturday and we're going to be talking about remodeling. Yes. Big surprise, right? Because <laughs> we're talking about remodeling. And so we, we love to talk about remodeling and how to be safe in remodeling. And one little aspect that a lot of people don't think about has to do with estimates. And, and everybody likes a free estimate, right? Well, yeah. everybody wants one. Yeah, so. That's what it seems. That's what it seems like. Everybody wants a free estimate. But our question today is, do you really want a free <laughs> estimate? After you listen to our show today, you may think twice about the value, or even if you even want one at all, because they're tricky, they're tempting, they are, they're like, something you can't get a hold of either. They they just float away. They're, they're something you can't really nail down. Or elusive. Elusive, yes, good word. So so we're gonna talk about that and, and you know answer the questions related to that, what we can do, uh, how we can be careful. What is, is there a better alternative to a free estimate? We think so. We think that you'll like what we have to say here. And we wanted to go ahead and get started on that. So. You've heard the expression, you get what you pay for, <laughs> right? Yes. And so let's think about it. If it's a free estimate, that means you paid what for it? Nothing. And it's worth what you paid for it. So it's worth nothing. So it's worth nothing. <laughs> In fact, I would say that it's worth less than nothing. So then why do people give it? Well, we'll get into that. Okay. But, but the, the, you have to get right into the nitty gritty, don't you? <laughs> But, you know, so I'm, I'm saying it's worth less than nothing because it can mislead you. And cost you. Yeah, and if something is, is really tempting to get you to fall for something, you may not even want to be around it. Yeah. And, uh, and so I, like to, I don't like to call them estimates. You know what I like to call them? No. Guesstimates. <laughs> because when a person gets you an estimate that's um, really, really uh, fast and easy, they're just guessing. Then it, it's a guess. I mean, it, it might be an educated guess, but it's still a guess. Mm -hmm. And so think about, like you said, why, let's get into that part about why would someone want to give a free estimate, first of all. Let's put it on the side of the contractor. Why do contractors like to give free estimates? Well, one, because that's what people are asking for, right? Well, I mean, yeah, people don't want to pay for it. Yeah. So they feel they're they're giving the people what they want is what you're saying. Yeah. And let's let's be honest. I mean, who wants to do a bunch of hard work when it's for free? Nobody. And do you think being doing something other than just an estimate would be easy? No. Right. So so giving giving someone something that's easy to do when it's for free makes sense. You're not going to go too far. I mean, if it's a free car wash, it's not as good as a car wash you pay for usually, right? Oh, yeah. If it's a... Um, free meal. If it's a free meal, it's after you bought another one usually. But if it's really <laughs> free, it's it's not the big meal that they that they want you to buy. Yeah. It, you, they hope you're going to upgrade, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anything free is usually not the one you really wanted. It's just something to pacify you. Yep. So the same is true with an estimate. It's It's free... It may be what that you think it's it's really worth all you know it's worth something, but if you really really were honest with yourself or you knew more about it, you're going to feel that it's not what you really wanted. That's how we feel about it in the business. So, a, a contractor is not geared up to give you what you really want. Most contractors cannot give you what you really want, which is all the detail. <laughs> There's some home advisor commercials that that actually indicate that that, um, okay, give me all this and give me all that and, uh, and vet all the contractors for me. And, and the person sitting there, the friend is like, I'm not doing, I can't do that. I'm not doing all that for you. It's a lot of work. Yeah, and so even if it was just like, give me some references on contractors, uh, who's gonna do that for you for free, right? And so that, that's the idea that if you're gonna get something worth something, it's, it's not gonna be for free, but Home Advisor says they can which I truly disagree with. They, uh, I've seen how they, how they run. The only contractors who, who use them are really guys who, 
Well, who don't have don't have any any leads coming in, and they're hurting themselves most of the time. And technically, it's not free, just so everybody knows, because one party is paying for it, and it's the contractor. That's <laughs> right. That's exactly right. So a contractor once is not geared up for. He's just going to give you estimates, and it's easier for him. But that's not what you really want. Mm-hmm. Think. Let's talk about that. I mean, if uh, if you have an estimate, if you get an estimate from a contractor. And let's say uh, the question I would want, I always ask people, do you think that that price could change? And they probably say, I hope not, but it... No, you know what they actually say is, yes, it could. Really? They know it could change. So everybody listening out there today knows that if you get an estimate, the price could change. Okay, so... So that's already one really bad thing, right? (laughs) Yeah. I know you you haven't done remodeling or had people come to your home and do remodeling or gotten bids for remodeling, so you don't know that, but a lot of people that are listening know that if you get bids for remodeling, and to them a bid is the same thing as an estimate, mm-hmm. um, that that's going to change. And that's sad. Yeah, and it's definitely not going to, price isn't going to go down. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Do you, uh, you know, you don't get a bid for your food at the restaurant and say, I hope it stays close to what I, what I thought I was going to pay. <laughs> Or you get a bid for your car. What will that car cost me? Well, right now it's looking around this much, and um, we'll see if it stays that way by the time you sign on the dotted line. Yeah. Or by the time you pull out, we'll, we'll see if the price has changed. Nobody would do that. Nobody would do that. So that's, that's unfortunately the expectation that people have in the remodeling industry. They have an expectation that it's not going to stay the same. Yeah. And, and really they prepare the client for that expectation. The client's kind of prepared for that expectation. And I always ask people, well, I don't always ask them. I, I can't say always, but I ask a lot of times, I ask people, do you, do you think that maybe there's some things in your home that might be discovered when we, when we open it up and when we start looking in the walls and finding things? Do you think there's a possibility that something could be discovered that wasn't covered in the contract? And guess what they say? Yes. They say yes. Mm-hmm. It's exactly what they say. And what's sad is, is that's really not true. In about 99 95% of the cases, the homes, we already know how they're built. So it's not a mystery. But every contractor that does free estimates wants you to think it is a mystery. Oh, yeah. So that way they can charge you more later because they only gave you an estimate. And, hey, it's a mystery what we might find. So they're setting you up for something, and we're going to talk more about that in just a second, but I want to talk about my friends at Billy's Western Wear, where I buy all my Western Wear, including my Lou Casey's, and I'm getting a new pair of ooh, hornback, ooh. hornback uh, alligator. Yep. Or hornback, yeah, it's hornback alligator uh, boots, so I'm looking forward to that. You can look them up over at Bernie, at uh, South Main and Bernie. It's right down that main... Highway 1490 South. Billy'sWesternWear.com. Say hello to Greg White and let him know I sent you. And we'll be right back to the KM Builder Remodeling and Design Show. Welcome back to the KM Builder Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith May along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we are talking about do you really want a free estimate? But before. Really? Yeah, <laughs> but before we do that, we want to talk about what you really want, and that's client satisfaction. Yes. You want a contractor that can satisfy, and we always try to, to give a client testimonial, something that's happened during the week, because sometimes we forget to get the information. Yeah. But today <laughs> we have it, and it's on my phone. Yes. Because i got to read what my friend Helen Seals said about us. Um, this is just the latest. I mean, it goes on and on. Yeah. Every, but, but there's just so many clients that are giving us compliments. And we've talked about letters they've sent us. We've talked about emails. We've talked about ratings. Mm-hmm. But I like to show some of the uh, cool stuff they say on some of the text messages because we do a text message thread for every job, and we start that every morning a little after 7 and letting them know what's going to happen. Well, they use that to tell us what they think all the time. <laughs> and Helen and Mitch, our, our friends, are really, really good about telling us their feelings, and we love that. And if something's not right, they've told us that too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they have. Oh, and, yeah. And uh, but look at this one. This was just the just the other day. 
and it says OMG exclamation <laughs> point. Master bathroom cabinets look phenomenal with a bunch of hearts. And mm -hmm. it says KM rocks. How cute. And then she says, no kidding, blown away. You all are making me smile big. And then the next text, surpassed expectations. And then the next text, sending hugs to all of you with hearts. <laughs> and then she said, thank you, Chad, for, and this is all the same day, thank you, Chad, for orchestrating the rolling of the rug, and you were so thorough, <laughs> exclamation point. Caleb and Alvin gave me the blow by blow. <laughs> what was with the rug? Oh, the rug was, um, she got a delivery of a really nice oriental rug. Oh. And uh, I even have a picture of it here. See how it was rolled up? Oh, yeah. In a small package. I was standing. I happened to be there. I went to pay them a visit on the weekend to see how they were doing. Mm -hmm. And I saw this bundle sitting in the kitchen. Because mm -hmm. the kitchen is the area that's already been remodeled. Yeah. And we have it dustproof. You've been there. Mm -hmm. And so all that's dustproof. We're standing in the dust-free zone and uh, where we, we have it guarded and all all uh, boarded up so they can have their part of their life of their home and I saw this thing sitting in the kitchen <laughs> and I said what is that because it was wrapped up in, in white plastic and she said that's the new rug I got it was just delivered and I'm touching it and I'm, I'm seeing it and I'm looking at the wrinkles in it and I said that doesn't look like that's a good way to store that rug <laughs> she said well there's you know that's the way they sent it and I said we need to do something on that <laughs> I said, how about we, and I'm scratching my head, looking at it, thinking this is not good for an Oriental rug to have all these wrinkles and folded. It was folded, I don't know, you know, twice and then rolled yeah, up. At I least mean, at least twice and rolled up. A rug, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and that's what it looks like rolled out. And yeah. so, so, I mean, this is all from job site photos that are on the text thread. But Chad rolled it? Well, no, we unrolled it, <laughs> and we rolled it out like this, and then we, what we did was we went ahead and rolled it in a tube and wrapped it up in paper and plastic. Oh, I the said, right way to so, roll it So up. I told her, I said, why don't you let us unroll this, and I know you don't have any room in this small kitchen because we're remodeling the whole house, mm -hmm. except for the kitchen. Yeah. And so they have a little casita in the back, so they just come into the kitchen to cook. And so what we did is we rolled it up and taped it out, and we're going to get rid of those wrinkles that way and then they stored it and they stored it so that it could straighten out yeah and when they it had folds it had folds and creases in it oh and i goodness. mean i mean bends in it yeah. and i'm thinking this is the day they want to use this it's going to be six months before it yep. unfolds the longer it stays like that the worse it is so that was just an example of, of caring about the client and making sure that we had something and our guys i knew our guys could do it i mean it's just a matter of taking a little time yeah. So I was glad to see the reaction. I mean, she really <laughs> loved it, and she really thanked the guys. It. She saw the detail because because our guys send photos of this stuff. When it matters oh, yeah. to the client, we're not only communicating with we're showing them photos of it. Yep. And so this Some proof. Yeah. So this is this is just a little thing we do for customer service. I mean, the guys will move the trash cans and help people with groceries and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So that's why we get so many kudos, and, and they mention them by name. I just met a client um, last week, and they asked for Lewis by name. Is he still with you? And you know, I said he sure is. <laughs> um, the other day, this client asked about Mike Garcia by name. Is he still with you? Yes, he is. You know, they always ask, "Are these guys still with you?" Yep. And what's great is we don't have high turnover. We have a very low turnover, so it makes it really nice. And and people want want to have a relationship that they can continue. And so we're going back just now to the. Uh, going off on a tangent here, <laughs> but uh, it is a lot of fun to make people happy, and, and it's part of why I'm so passionate about this business, because I have so much fun with it, I can I can be high all the time, Yeah. and uh, and it is really, really a blast, and, and then the team that I work with is just incredible too, but um, when you're talking about a free estimate, there is just, I feel like it's suckering people in, um, and people are very innocent about it, they're very uneducated about what that that estimate is going to be and how much it's going to include mm -hmm. but what's going to happen is is people are going to feel like tempted because of the lower price if you're going to estimate and you're not going to get into details are you still going to want the job well that's why you showed up is because you want the job so the, obviously they want the job 
But what they're going to do if they're not going to put the time and hard effort it takes to, to break down a project, they're going to give you an estimate that sounds very, very tempting. And they don't have a guilty conscience at all because it was just an estimate. Yeah. And so if you get an estimate that's, you know, uh, 30% lower, 25% lower than the other contractors, you're going to be tempted to go with it. And if that guy happens to be a very nice person, at least he appears to be, um, it makes it even more tempting. If he says the right things and he's 25% lower, I mean, you can feel like, what do I have to lose? I, I mean, even if he asks for more money, even if he asks for extra money, I'm still starting off a lot lower. Yeah. And so that's the tempting part. Yeah, thinking you can save money is mm -hmm. very tempting. Yeah, because you feel like it's so much lower that I can pay him a little extra if his bid is off and I will still be lower than the other contractors that, yeah. are, really, that, that are giving me a higher price. But they're not giving you, they're not talking about the same model. No. It's just like that, like that truck model. If, if, you're, if you need an F-350 to pull that fifth wheel and somebody gives you, and you ask people, I need a truck, and you tell them what you need and you don't know what model it really works best and they say, here's a truck and it's <laughs> 30,000 less than what somebody else is offering you. The reason is it ain't the same truck. Yeah. It is not the same truck. So you really need to be careful about what that contractor is offering you. And you can't, you, there's nothing you can do to get that kind of detail. It's an estimate. Yeah. Hello, you're not. You don't know what type of tile that you're thinking of. Yeah, well, you might tell them. You might tell them some things you want. And, that, and then you think even more certainly that, you, <laughs> that your estimate's closer because you've told him. Well, that doesn't mean that he included that and he calculated that in his head real quickly. That has nothing to do with it. Most so likely he didn't calculate it, right? That's exactly right. So you really have to be careful. We're going to have to take a break. Uh, we're going to talk more about this free estimate thing. But I want to talk about my friends at North Park, Lexus at Dominion. They give you a hard quote and they give you the customer service with it. And I know I didn't pay extra for that. That that RX 350 F Sport is incredible. And the service we get makes it fun to go to the dealership. Talk to my friend Al Cavazos at North Park Lexus at Dominion. Or go to North Park Lexus at Dominion.com. And we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, and this is Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we are talking about, do you really want a free estimate? We're trying to dispel that myth of that, of that having any value at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people know it's not the most valuable thing, and that it has some weaknesses, but we're here to tell you that we think it's horrible, and mm -hmm. that, that it really is something you should avoid like the plague. But we're going to get into some of the details, but Morgan always likes to share with us something that's trending lately. What do you got? Well, mirrors in kitchens. So you mm -hmm. think we put mirrors in um, bathrooms for purpose to, you know, we need to do our hair. But sometimes we put mirrors in living rooms and dining rooms to make the room feel bigger. And mirrors have come a long way with being decorative. So we have beautiful mirrors. But think about a mirror in a kitchen. Maybe you can't have a window and you want to bounce that natural light. A lot of people are choosing to do away with a lot of the upper cabinets. So putting a mirror or something on that wall that's now a little empty makes a nice touch and it's not any harder to keep clean than any other room in your house. That's true. Mirrors are less, you know, they're easy to keep clean. No, it's just glass. Yeah. So, it, and it looks really, really interesting, and it's it's unique, it's not weird, it, it makes your kitchen more of a statement, um, less of a function room, more of a gathering room. It looks like the rest of your house. That's right, and it can, it can share that space by bringing it into that room. Mm -hmm. It's seeing, uh, like for example, if you have a reflection of a window in a mirror, it looks like you have a window there. Yeah. <laughs> and if you have a tree in your window, it's a tree above uh, wherever you have that, and lighting and all yeah. that the bounces naturally, like you said. That's a really good idea, and I personally have not seen it, but uh, maybe yeah. somebody will let me do it for them. Yeah, you never know. I mean, yeah. it looks really pretty. I really like it. I think it's the next best thing to a window. Yes. And you can actually kind of like add a window mm -hmm. if it's reflecting off of a window. So positioning <laughs> positioning is critical. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then and so sometimes it has to do with adding light, illuminating 
whatever space is reflecting in that mirror. So that's, yeah. that's a good idea. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. And so we're talking about do you really want a free estimate? It is very dangerous to get an estimate because estimates tend to be lower priced. I don't think that that's a surprise by a lot of people that it would be lower priced than somebody who, who actually goes through and ascertains all the details. Of so course. so it, it's, it's tempting because it does look like it's a better deal. And oh, that yeah. gets people to take actions they otherwise would not take. Yeah, it, which is signing a contract right away. Yeah. So Being think about it. Money. If you knew you were going to pay more, and it was, you know, 20, 30% more, would you sign up? Would you take the action you're about to take, would you were going to take with a free estimate? And the answer in most cases is no. So the, so the estimate is misleading. You're getting into something that's going to cost you 20 or 30% more, and you don't think you are. Yeah. You, you think it's somewhere between 5 and 10% more, but it's not. It's not going to be 5 to 10% more. It's going to be 25 to 33% typically is what we see. Yeah. Uh, that's how much it varies. So a $20,000 project starts looking a lot more like 30000 uh, by the time you get it done. Now, there's another thing is these contractors who do that tend to be the lesser quality. So you may even be spending more money to get it done right next or they can even be a scammer. Right, um, very often. You made up a mm -hmm. very good point. A lot of times these people who have these low estimates are scammers. Yep. But then there's scammers um, that, are, that are actually kind of in between. There are people who know that you won't fall for the lowest estimate because you're smarter than that. <laughs> so their estimate's gonna come in somewhere a little above that and below, significantly enough, still below what other people would normally charge. Yeah. And they know they don't want to be the lowest person because you won't trust them. So you're going to go with the next bid. And that guy <laughs> and that guy is still way lower than other people. That's a smart He's scammer. Yeah, that's a smart scammer. And, and the great thing about, I mean, the bad thing about these guys, they really look even more believable. Yeah. Because they've been around longer. Mm -hmm. And they know now they can up their, their free estimate bid now to a little higher and still get you, and they'll get you more often than the guy with the low bid will. Man. But, but the difference in where that's going to be versus where you would have to pay to get it finished is still the same range. So you're gonna pay one third more to get it the way you want it, and typically these guys don't run tight companies at all. I mean, that's almost never. Oh yeah. And then so you're gonna be dealing with a company that you want out of your house as soon as they came in. Painful. It is very painful. So. You know, do you really have to be careful about about free estimates? Even though a lot of people think, well, I gave them a little drawing of what I wanted, or I told them all the contractors the same thing. I told them all the same thing. Yeah, you told them all you wanted a truck, <laughs> but you didn't know what engine you needed. You didn't yeah. know what what rear end that pulls better. Yeah. You know, and, and even while I'm saying this, most people wouldn't know what rear end differential do you gearing ratio do you want in your truck whenever you're going to pull. Yep. It's different depending on what you pull. Well, we're just talking about a few examples of four-wheel drive, diesel <laughs> engine, gas, EcoBoost, you know, uh, six-cylinder, BA, and we're talking about four-door. All that most people know about the truck when they see them, if they're not really into trucks, is I want a four-door, or I want this size bed, mm -hmm. and I want this color. Yeah. And so people know about that much when it comes to remodeling. Yep. They really don't know all the details. And they'll tell them, I saw these pictures and this and that. But they don't know, and a lot of times, unfortunately, the contractor doesn't know what it takes to get there. Mm -hmm. And they surely don't know what it takes to get there money-wise in a few minutes or an hour of listening to you. Or you listening to them tell you about how great they are. Yep. They're not going to know how much, how much it costs. There's no way you can figure it. I've been doing this nearly all my life, and I can't tell you exactly what it's going to cost you to do it. I don't know enough about your home. i got to look at the breaker panels. I've got to take all these measurements. I've got to check the plumbing. We've got to check the size, the, the size, the depth, the width, the height, the textures, you know, everything. The breakers, the breakers. we've got to look at everything. The panels. Do you have a three-wire or a four-wire system? Yeah. Ask your contractor, is mine a three- or four-wire system? They're not going to know because they didn't check it. And even if they do, some of them don't even know what I'm talking about. You know, the new codes say you've got to have a four-wire system if you do a certain amount of remodeling. The new codes say you have to do smoke alarm if you do a certain amount, amount of remodeling. You better know these things because they can be extra charges. 
and sometimes you need it and sometimes you don't. So this is this is a really important thing to know. It's one of the reasons you don't want free estimates. We're going to talk about what you can get instead of a free estimate in just a few minutes, but I want to talk about someone who gives you a firm quote and I recommend to all my clients and that's Legacy Heating and AC Services. Go to my friend Chad Briggs and let him know that we the KM Builders recommended him. LegacyServicesAC.com. And we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith and this is Morgan. Hello everybody. And we are talking about do you want, really want, a free estimate? The answer implies, the question implies the answer is no. <laughs> you really don't want a free estimate because it's too dangerous. We've talked about the dangers of getting a free estimate because it is misleading. So why do contractors give free estimates? It's easy for them and it reels you in. Yep. It ropes you in or it reels you in, whatever you want to call it. It just is yeah, it's bait. It's a bait. Mm -hmm. Free estimate is a wonderful bait for contractors who don't care about being accurate, who don't care if later on you get mad at them and you never want them to show up at your house again. Because fine, they won't. They won't. They won't <laughs> show in, the in fact of it. In fact, you can kick me off right during the middle of it, and I'm happy with that too. Yep. You know, because I've got more of your money than you thought I would have, yep. and I know how much it takes to finish this project, and you don't. And you think I got a lot done, but the hard part's about to come, and I'm ready to leave as the moment you tell me you don't want to pay me anymore. Yep. And try to sue me. Try to try, try to, to go find me. Try to find me. Try to get me to court. Try to get me to answer my phone again after you do it. After you do that, we can get another number after this. After I'm off your job. Yep. And so this is how they work. Free estimates just get a, bu a bunch of money into their hands. You know what happens typically? The down payment looks like for the guy who did the free estimate? Probably pretty big. It is. It's always bigger. And why would somebody want to give somebody a bigger estimate, a bigger uh, down payment? Because it's still cheaper than the other guys. That's right. <laughs> you got it. You're getting it. It's still so much less expensive because how could I lose? Yep. How could you lose? Let's see. How many dollars did you give them? That's how much you could lose. And so that really is. So what's the alternative to a free estimate? Morgan, you know. How can it be done differently? An exact quote. An exact quote. And what does it take to give an exact quote? Well, I know that it takes us a lot. It's, it's a lot of time. Yeah. Usually three individuals spending anywhere from two to four to six to eight hours on a project. And what that's we call just the discovery. Yeah, that's the discovery and the assessment of your home. So it's very much like uh, going to a doctor and saying, I, I want to make myself feel better. Mm -hmm. Well, he doesn't just prescribe you something right away. He doesn't give you a surgery right away. And it might be that you have a real serious problem and you might need surgery, but he's going to do a thorough assessment before he gives you his diagnosis. And so tests are run, and we're going to do that on your home. We're going to take photos. We're going to kind of like x-rays. Yeah. We're going to check cabinets. the attics, open cabinets, check the plumbing, check the breaker panels. This is kind of like our x-ray program. Mm -hmm. And we know everything about your home before we leave so that when we start preparing the numbers, we're going to be right on the money. We're going to be exact. And what we really want you to know is that we can even guarantee those numbers. Now, those numbers are not inflated. Mm -hmm. to cover us because we, we know our we know our business and we're willing to spend the time to give you what you really really want and that's something that you can count on so much so that we will guarantee those numbers now I ask people you know do you think that's worth a couple thousand dollars yes absolutely they they realize right away that numbers that you can count on are worth more than numbers you can't count on you can um make people promises that sound really, really great, but telling the truth in something that's good is better than telling somebody something that's great that's not true. Yep. And it's always true that the real price that can be good or fair, but the, and, but the imaginary price, the dream price, the fake price is mm -hmm. always really good. It sounds really yeah. good, but it's not worth anything. And that's why we, that's why we always say, you know, you, you, you've, uh, that saying we repeat, you get what you pay for is so true when it comes to this. In most cases, it's true in life, but it is especially true in here. If yeah. you got a free estimate, it's worth what you paid for it, and you paid nothing for it, so it's worth nothing. Because it, it misleads you so much and leads you 
actually prepared to pay more. That's they're setting you up. And you know who you're gonna blame whenever you got an estimate and it changes price? Yourself. Yeah. Because you said, but it was only an estimate. They couldn't have known. And you're right, they don't know. Because yeah. you didn't they didn't spend the time it takes. But is that good customer service or do you want something that somebody really can guarantee? Now it takes a little bit of money to get that, but it's certainly worth it, and especially when you get a guarantee. And it comes with professional designs, and that's why we love to do the work for people because we know that this isn't like, well, if they get mad at us, we're not going to do any more work for them anyway. <laughs> we are going to be referred by them. Yeah. And we're going to be their preferred remodeling contractor when they want to do something else. So we've got to build a relationship based on trust and on real good information that they can count on. It needs to be reliable. So that's what a design agreement does. It does at our company. It gets us started doing that assessment where several people are involved. There's always an architectural designer who's degreed in architectural design, and then there is a interior designer that later on is involved, and a cabinet designer. Many times that interior designer um, is actually accompanying them on that first project, but you always have usually a structural specialist, uh, architectural designer, and a design consultant, all on that initial assessment, because we have to get it right, and then we take hundreds of photos and videos to make sure we, we've got all of our x-rays to go examine back at the office. Oh yeah, and they look back on those. Yeah, we sure do. <laughs> so if you'd like to get a better process, we'd love to talk to you. And I always come out on the first consultation, uh, at least 99% of the time. Mm -hmm. I'm in over 500 homes a year and I'd love to share my experience and the knowledge I have in this business, which I have a passion for. And I would love to show you that. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, set you up by calling at 680-5626 and you can look us up at kmbuilders.com and you can set up an appointment that way or join our email address at friends, friends at kmbuilders.com that's right so you can get there there and you ought to also check out my friends at truly nolan pest control they are helping me kill a rat that got in my garage and chewed on some some things i didn't oh like and chewed on and so, all of your plants yes my jalapeno peppers and my chili can you just believe that <laughs> TrulyNolan.com, that's N-O-L-E-N, Truly Nolan Pest Control, and they're, they're really good, they're great guys. So we, we'll see you next time on the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Morgan and I are going to be off and go do the rest of our Saturday, and we hope you enjoy yours. And remember, you could have someone else remodel your home, but then you'd have to live in it. <laughs> Bye, everybody. When I wave, you need to say hi, everybody. Oh. Oh, like that. We'll keep that. Sure. Took another hour. Took another hour. That wasn't bad. Next time, it'll probably take 15 minutes less. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I have the, the keyboard? Um, do you really want an estimate, right? Do you really, do you really want a free estimate? Man, just think about that. We just, we just got our, say. we just got ourselves off the whole it. Saturday by working one hour later. Yep. Can you text them and make sure that this is working? Mm hmm It doesn't look like it's saving. 